Right, recording. And I'm here with the Skywalker. This is John's Putsy RC's old, uh, old plane. It's a 2014 1900mm from BEVRC. And John didn't reckon much to it. Had a lot of trouble with it. There's no FPV gear, there's no um, return to home or anything like that in it. It's just uh, it's ready to run. I'll put a different motor because the motor on his blue. It's been really windy all day and the wind's now changing. It's sort of coming from that way now, I think. We'll go down here and we'll give it a go. And if it flies all right, I'll put the Mobius on for a quick fly. Um, I've got two 5,000 milliamp three cell zippy compacts in here. So there's 10,000 milliamps. I need that extra weight just, just to make CG. So here we go. She is a big lumbering beast. Um, it's about there with the trim. I will reset them manually afterwards. That's on less than half throttle. She's really quiet. That's full throttle. She's never going to be vertical. But with all that payload on her, she's needing a lot of left trim. And back it off to half throttle. I'm not going to take it too far today. Left rudder, left aileron. She does, John's right, she does. <sighs> now obviously she's going crosswind there, so that's why I think... Obviously it's a big wing surface. You go side onto the wind and she will... She will sort of veer. There you go really quiet right so a little bit about her I've put an SK3 motor on it's I think it's a 35 I think it might be a 42 so like I'm not sure it's a 1050 or an 1150 kV motor um, and I've reversed the shaft or rather John did for me and uh, Right, let's put her on a glide. It's maybe not the good idea down downwind. Right, so I'll turn her into the wind. Yeah, so, so I think it's a 10 or 1150 kV motor. She's swinging a 12 by 6 folding prop. 
um, with some carbon cam blades. Don't think the brake's on because she's still spinning. She's actually a pussy cow. Once you get her trimmed out a bit. Alright, see if we can bring it down without a three mile walk and without landing it on that roof. Ha ha ha! John boy! Right. I have actually locked the props just in case they got stuck anywhere around here if they went forward, although they should flop back. Right, so that's that part, that's part one. I'll stop that now and then I'll set that up and I'll do it on the plane.